Hello guys and welcome to my tutorial on engineering graphics. Uh, in this tutorial we will be uh, learning how to construct an involute. So basically what an involute is. So uh, imagine a square shaped uh, something object to have and you have tied a thread such that the one end is tied at the corner of this object and the other end is in your hand. So if you rotate this thread along the circumference of this object the path that uh, that is followed by this point and the path the curve that we get is called as involute so the formal definition is a curve traced out by a point on the straight line which rolls without slipping around a circle or a polygon uh, it might be a little confusing but what i was what i was saying is that the path followed by a point that is considered this point and one end of the point is tied here at the corner at one of the corner of this object so if you consider this as a thread and if you rotate it in this direction along the circumference of the object the path that is followed by this point is called an involute so basically we will be seeing the construction of such a curve so uh, uh, here i have a simple question we will be doing complex problems in the later tutorials uh, i have a question is draw involute of square side of 20 mm so basically this is a square of 20 mm so it might be a some object whose dimension is 20 and i have a thread like thing that is basically it's a line uh, of length 80 mm so basically uh, guys if a question is like draw involute of square side of or any pentagon or hexagon any it can be any object so you have to draw a straight line of length equal to the circumference that is perimeter i mean not circumference perimeter of that object you have to draw a straight line of length equal to perimeter of that object so this is so side of the square is 20 mm so this thread like structure will be of length 80 mm uh, I would show you its length so that you could have a rough idea. Basically, it's 80. Right here, you can see it's a bit. I'll zoom in a bit so that you could have a proper view. Yeah. So it's 80, and I'll just remove this dimension so that I could get a space for doing this. So basically, we have we are now going to see how to construct an involute. So we have to choose a circle basically because it will be a circle like structure basically it will be a arc of circle the path that is followed by the point so the center of the so we have to construct a four circles because the point will be over passing all the four corners so what will be the radius of the circle that is a key catch in this type of problem so center of the circle will be this point that is the corner one end of the corner so I have choose to be a circle and the length that is the radius of the circle will be equal to the line because it's initially at a later stage at the formal stage I mean because it's in the first stage so radius of the circle will be 80 so I put here 80 and we get an circle so after the next step in doing this is to draw a line straight line passing through this corner the second corner to this circle because I did this because guys imagine that we are taking turning this thread turning this thread along the circumference of the object so if you imagine by uh, using your hands if we take this thread here it will be a straight line and a quarter circle will be covered by this thread so this is the initial path that is followed by this po end point but it will be different after moving from here so the next step will be drawing a circle with center as this point and radius equal to 80 minus 20 that is 60 we have to do this calculation 80 minus 20 equal to 60 because in this case it will be 80 minus 20 because the side square side is 20 mm in different objects it will be different so and um, we'll be drawing a square not a square a circle of radius 60 so 60 and it's done now I will be using trim command to remove the extra part so that you could get an idea what it will look like. So this is what I get but this is an incomplete curve I will I will need to do it properly. After this the same procedure that we followed for the second point will also be applicable for third point. I will be drawing this straight line then choose circle and center will be the third point. So I request you to guess the radius of this as I told
told you to do for the first so the second point that is 80 minus 20 now we have drawn two circles of radius 80 and 60 so third or uh, third will be circle of radius 40 so 40 and it will be so uh, the trick to check whether you have drawn a correct circle is to get a shape like this that are concentric circles not concentric uh, I don't know exactly remember the term so I'll trim it again remove this part this and this so you have to keep the exterior part of the circle that you construct you have to eliminate the inner part because inner part of the that is the inner trajectory of the point is already done so uh, for the last point we will follow the same procedure oh I did not read the line I draw a line because to get an idea that whether I have drawn the circle correctly or not so that is why I draw this straight line the second uh, that is the fourth circle will be over radius 20 so it looks like some something like this I'll again use the trim command I'll select the whole drawing and remove the interior part so I'll also remove the lines so that you could uh, see the path that is followed so guys this is the final drawing that we get that is a trajectory of the point I also removed the thread because it's wound over the circumference so if you want a clear idea just take uh, any type of object tie a thread to at one end and just rotate it around around its circumference the path that you get if you want to plot the path you just take a object on the paper tie a thread on that and Put a pencil or something you want anything you want so that you could see the path and rotate around the object along its circumference so this type of path you'll get uh, now we'll be seeing construction of involute for a hexagon so i'll be taking a question of hexagon in the same video so guys i now have a question of hexagon we have to draw an involute of hexagon of side 25 so I have constructed a hexagon of side equal to 25 mm and uh, like the last figure it's the same that is the thread of length that is equal to perimeter that is 25 into 6 is 150. So this is the thread like structure I mean it's a line but to make it understand better I call it as thread. It's a line of length 150 mm so the same procedure will be followed we have to draw a circle whose center will be the this this point so basically i suggest you to always draw the straight line of the length equal to perimeter at the base point so it will be easy to for you to construct the involute of the given object or else it's up to you you can take any point you line but it would simply make it complicated and nothing else so i have specified the center of this point and the radius of the circle will be 150 so now i have this then again will be drawing the straight line uh, before drawing the straight line please uh, be sure that you switch on the polar tracking because or else it will just make a straight line so it will be of 60 degree oh I went outside just press ctrl z and make sure guys that the straight line lies in the straight manner with this side so next is the step to draw a hexagon with center at this point because first we do the circle taking this as a center now we will be drawing circle taking this as a center so this is the center and radius will be equal to 150 minus 25 which is 125 so 125 so yeah this is it then i will use a trim command to remove the extra part mm, yes so now i will be removing the external part of the second circle yeah be sure to keep the exterior part of the second circle because it will make you if you trim it it will make the whole uh, extra circle also disappear this part which we need so again for the next step I think if you don't draw line it will also it will be also okay so I'll check whether we get a proper diagram 
this will be the center and length the uh, radius of the circle will be 125 minus 25 by 150 minus 50 it's 100 yeah I get the same part I get the exact circle as a, so just eliminate the uh, step in the procedure to draw straight line so now I will be removing the exterior part of the second circle and even this I think I removed the whole part so basically yeah guys this is it this is what we get by considering it should be a smooth curve to look like this that is this is a smooth edge that it should not be uneven to make you sh to make sure that we are doing the right thing so again I will take the circle and we have drawn for these two points now this is the third point and radius will be equal to 75 because the last circle that we drew was 100 now it would be 100 minus 25 it's 75 so this is what we get again I'll just select to trim so remove this part this part and this so this is what we get then again choose circle and take this as the center and radius will be equal to 75 minus 25 is 50 so again I'll choose to trim I'll select remove this exterior part and remove this and it like this so now I'll be drawing this second last last circle I mean the last point is this the sixth point on the hexagon that is equal to 25 because 50 minus 25 is 25 and I'll again use the trim option to remove this part so I'll remove this also I'll remove this also the straight line so that you could get just get a clear idea how the uh, path looks like so this is it guys uh, that we get that we get uh, after constructing the involute of hexagon so if you need to uh, visualize this curve I suggest you to take a hexagon shaped object and tie a thread at one end of the corner that is this corner then and a thread of length equal to the perimeter of this hexagon that is 150 mm so I'll just extend the thread in the straight line and uh, drew, draw on it on paper so that you could just get the involute exactly as you want so this is it we saw the construction of involute for a square and for a hexagon so thank you guys thank you for watching my tutorial uh, in the coming tutorials we'll be seeing uh, more problems on this and construction of helix that is the last uh, part that is remaining in curves so thank you guys thank you for watching my tutorial bye bye